Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Hot Nudes. Today we're going to do, do something interesting. This is from Nong Shim. I haven't seen this before, but this is premium Kantan Men, which is actually a variation of Dan Dan noodles, which is Dan Dan Main. In other places they call them Tan Tan, so that's essentially what this is. Now, typically that's served as dry noodles, but the instructions in here say to, you know, serve it as a soup. Either way, because I think other countries do actually serve it as a soup. So we're going to try that. Uh, it's ramen with chili oil. Now, I thought, do I use chicken broth or, you know, something like that? And apparently, this has all kinds of animal in it. It's artificial beef layer, but it actually does have chicken broth and chicken fat. And it has fish in it as well. Maybe uh, fish seeds, I'm not sure. But it says texture blend from Pollock. So I found that pretty interesting. Now... Again, we don't have a microwave oven. These instructions for adding hot water is, yeah, open the lid halfway, remove chili oil packet and soup base, pour, and it does say soup base, so this is a soup. Pour hot water up to the inside line, close lid for four minutes, stir in chili oil and serve. Now they actually have a, a chart that shows you if you, you know, how you, if you want your noodles al dente, three and a half minutes. If you want it medium, four minutes. If you want them soft, four and a half minutes. I think we're gonna go with medium. We'll go with the four minutes like they specify. So we're just gonna get started. I have my handy dandy kettle here. We'll wait till that gets hot. Should only take a minute or so. And then I do have some stuff to add to it. So because typically pork or shredded pork or chopped pork is gonna be added to the top of that, I have some Spam that I grilled. And I also have some kimchi that I chopped up and some green onions and I'll put those on top. Uh, I'm not going to put any jalapeno in here because again this says chili oil and I'm going to see how how hot it is without having to be confused by the jalapeno. So we're just going to wait for that water and I'll be right with it. Okay water's boiling so let's get it started in here. All right so peel that back, pop that out and this gets added. Let's see uh, remove chili oil packet in the soup base, pour hot water in, close lid, stir in chili oil, and serve. Soup oil? It doesn't say when to put the soup base in. It says open lid. Oh, add soup base. Okay. All right. So we're going to add the soup base. Soup base. This is alpha one. And that's red as you would expect it to be. And let's add our water to the line. Put this on top and we wait four minutes. Be right back. All right, time is up. Let's see what we have here. All right, we need to stir that. Well, that is a soupy mess. Smells good. Oh, there's little pieces of, looks like little meatballs. Have a look at that. It smells interesting. I, I really can't quite place it, but there's a lot of stuff in here. So, oh, need to stir in the chili oil. That's kind of sparing, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be hot. Uh, that's just a little bit of chili oil, but you never know. It's hard to, hard to say. That ought to be enough. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in my ramen bowl. My Marushan instant lunch bowl. And I think I've had everything in this bowl except Marushan. There we go. Oh, there's stuff on the bottom. Good thing I did that. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's give this a shot. Mm. 
I mean, it really looks, for the lack of a better term, meaty. I'll, I'll put it that way. It looks meaty. Here we go. All right. Those have a nice flavor. They're savory. They do taste meaty. They don't taste like any Dan Dan noodles that I've actually had, but it's pretty good. I mean, it's a nice hot lunch. Nice flavor. As is, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm not even gonna give points against it for not being that hot because it doesn't advertise that it's that hot, right? It just says there's chili oil in it, but it doesn't say hot. You know, extremely, there's no chicken with flames coming out of their mouth or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, it's actually pretty good. I think next time I go a little more al dente on the noodles. This is medium, but you know, I like my pasta al dente. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, as I always recommend, dress your noodles up. Even if you're doing like instant ramen or something. And I know people on a budget, if you're in college and you have like a whole closet full of instant ramen, it's not that expensive to dress that up. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put, I have some grilled Spam. I'm gonna put that in there. I have some uh, kimchi that I chopped up. And some green onion. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. I'm gonna go with a fork on this one so I can get some of the bigger pieces here. I get some of the spam, get some of the kimchi. That's really good. Definitely should dress this up. So, I'm gonna say I got this at our local Kroger store, which is Ralph's. So any large grocery probably has this. I just haven't seen it before. So that was really interesting. Tantan Men, which is like Dan Dan noodles or Dan Dan Maine, um, like chow mein. Uh, ramen with chili oil. Actually really, really good. I, I didn't put the egg in there. It's actually really, really good. So. Get out and try this, but when you do, remember that it's crazy out there, so please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.